Hey everybody, I'm going to make a whole house fan. These are the parts that I've got so far to see if it'll work. It's going to be an insulated whole house fan with a door on it that opens up and closes with full insulation around it. What I've got is I've got the whole house fan. It's about a 4800 CFM. I got it on Amazon for about 150. I got these actuators here. They turn on and off. I've got one for the high speed and one for the low speed. And they've got two different terminals here um, that you can use it with it on or off, depending on what you want to do. And then I've got a fire uh, damper opener. They're on eBay for 50 bucks. These were six dollars a piece on Amazon. Um, what this does is when power is applied to it. It'll turn a screw, or what I have here is hinges that I pre-made here. By taking a half inch rod and two hinges, knocked the center out of the hinges, and then widened it so it'll fit on this half inch rod. And this rod end right here will go inside this hole right here. So this will actually turn that rod and open basically the damper for the whole house fan. But my switches, they came with the fan. So you've got on off, high low. And then I've got all my wiring for wiring in that switch. So basically what I'll do is I'll run the switches on off. When I turn it on, it'll actuate the actuator immediately. And then I'll have two other wires coming up, the high and the low. And it'll go directly to these, which will turn it on when the door opens. So the power will be applied to these. And then once the door opens, it'll hit that and it'll turn on the whole house fan. So basically if the door does not open, the fan does not turn on. So far I've got all these parts, I've got about 200 bucks in the first. Half inch rod goes in, it's all wired in. This is going down to the switch, all this wiring. And into the box right there. And then we've got the wires coming over for the motor. So this is the wire going into the motor and the fan's going to be mounted up in here and it comes down to these actuator switches so when the door opens this weighted plate see how I weighted it there so that the door doesn't weigh too much for the actuator it will open up it will click these two switches bring it down and that turns on the fan so the fan will not come on unless the door is open. Just kind of a safety measure. But that's what it is. It looks like before I install it. And this is just foam just sitting up here. I'm going to use spray foam in between each layer just to seal all those on there. But now I've got to take it all apart. Now that I put it together so that I can put it up into the attic, into a hole for my vent that's over there sitting ready to go. Okay, this is the final where I put the vent on. we have got the fan up there installed and we've got the lid on. This is down in the hallway. I put my switch over in my bedroom here. The kids can't play with it. I'm going to turn it on low and then turn it on and the lid opens up and then once the lid opens up and turns on and it sucks a lot of air out of the house and that's it looks good